Immolate. That's spicy. Singleton is a um, an MTG thing. Double Elite, let's go. Pod Camp. Yes, it can. It does it all the time, Justice. That's, that's how I get three or four wins. I'm not French. No, I'm, I'm not French. Sword Boomerang. You got all in record time, really? You didn't lose once? So I guess maybe it's good to just do that to farm. Like, you know you can farm, right? Because the you can do it as many times as you want. So if you, let's say you're doing that and you're farming, then um, you can just keep getting cards. But so is it working though? You're saying you're getting like all wins with the red deck? I mean, if it's getting a lot of wins, I might, I, I might have to try it. Immolate baby, true grit. All right, so so far, guys, we're just taking like good cards. I'm taking Immolate. I'm hoping to upgrade it because I think Immolate Plus is going to be really nice, especially against the Guardian. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Armaments Plus helps me get the consistent defense. It just gives me upgrades. It's nice. Another True Grit. I don't mind it. Helps us manage the burns. It's good for defense. Um, I would say... Gotta be careful having two True Grits, though. At some point, you're, like, exhausting too much. So Immolate just wins. I just gotta wait for Immolate, and we win. Just an Immolate waiting room. Wow, they're hitting hard. Ooh, tough choice. I think I like the spot weakness because I need more damage, and spot weakness will be really nice with the sword boomerang that I have. But flame bears, flame I'll do spot weakness. Let's upgrade the armaments. Boom, 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 mmm, 28 versus, this guy can scale, so technically, technically, there's no real reason to, uh, take the hit to the face. I mean, that's not to say that just because he doesn't scale doesn't mean, because there's also merit in the fact that your deck can't consistently defend all the time, so you probably want to hit him hard and kill him when you can. This arm is fantastic against the fight uh, Guardian. It's also really good in Act 2. And this is really good for Act 3 in the bosses. But Funeral Pain could be good for the Elite coming up if it's Triple Sentry. If it's Triple Sentry, I love the Funeral Pain. And I'm going for two Elites. So Funeral Pain is good for that. But I think I'm taking this arm anyways. Alright, not really the good first turn. Um, Emily needs to do a lot of work here. Mm, I'd be spot weakness. I don't care. Oh boy. Let's go. First lead down. No problem. Mummified hand. Love it. Ooh. So, Mummified hand changes my options a little bit. Like, Inflame Metallicide has become a little bit better because of Mummified hand. Inflame helps the sword boomerang. Um, we already have spot weakness for that. I think Metallicide helps me get consistent defense. And then, of course, Fiendfire is really good. Aggressive exhaust and a good finisher, especially if you have strength and spot weakness. I think I'm doing Metallicus though. Because if it's a triple sentry or Lago Bolden, I'm going to need that. And this is a Poggers. Metallicus again, like I said, so the weaken is really nice, right? Having a weaken is extremely nice. But against the Guardian, we have the Disarm. And another Metallicus for the Smuff at hand is fine. Let me skip that. Let's upgrade the, um, let's upgrade this. Triple Sentry, boys.
What do I gotta do to make you? Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exciting. Voice crack. I need to drink water, boys. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. So we got the weaken anyways. And we got twin strike, which is nice. To dump the strength, but I like the weaken. And gamblers, bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip. I think this deck is actually getting out of control. It's absolutely fantastic. I should upgrade the trigger hits, although I'm trying to save the armaments to... Like I'm, I'm trying not to because I want the armaments to take care of it, but... Whatever. Do I go water? Yeah, man. So do you, if you guys remember, I, I was drinking water. <laughs> I was drinking water out of water bottles. And I was like, man, I'm tired of getting all these water bottles. Let me just get a nice jug. And I used to do this all the time. I used to do jugs. It's convenient to just have a gallon of water next to you. But my girlfriend started wanting to buy water bottles. So I was like, ah, oh, okay. But no more. Well, the tap water in um, California is not that great. Wait a second, guys. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait. Check this out. Bam. 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 The tap water is not that good in California, so I, I just buy gallons. Now, there's a thing that you could do where you do... Um, I have seven buck. You could do... This really, really big, I don't know what it's called. It has a specific name. A massive uh, jug of water. And then you take it to the store and refill it there and bring it back home. That's something you could do. But I don't do that. Tap water good anywhere? I would say New York City tap water. Well, compared to New York City, so I was living in New York City and New York City tap water was really good. Like, I would just take, buy like a... You could still do this in California where you take like a Breda filter and then you... Put the water through the bitter, bitter filter and then you drink it. But I would do that in New York. I would take the tap water in New York, put it through a filter, a carbon filter, and then drink it. And it was fantastic water. But New York City has really good tap water. Take care, Brett Tuzi. And this, this finishes run strong. So let's go for offering Dark Embracer Vitality. So again, we do have Mummified Hands. So I should consider maybe some of these powers. Dark Embrace could be interesting if I do things like uh, True Grit. And use that as card draw as well. As well as disarm becomes card draw. Everything else becomes card draw. Like it becomes interesting. More so than offering. Uh, I don't necessarily think it's the right play. But it could be interesting. I guess it's just different where you live, man. Ga gallons for me are cheaper. That's amazing. That's amazing. Okay, I don't know, guys. I don't know if I want to Dragon Brace. I think Armaments is... I'm sorry. Um, offering is better, but I'm kind of just like trying to spice it up a little bit. I'm trying to spice it up. I'm spicing it up. Marunic Pyramid. I'm trying to get too spicy with it. <laughs> Let's just do Marunic Pain. Trying to get too spicy. It's getting a little too spicy if I do Marunic Pyramid. Oh god. Yeah, a bubble would be nice. Yeah, buying buying in large amounts is cheaper everywhere, it's true.
So I guess Dark Embrace kind of counters this a little bit. I'm, I'm not, I don't have lethal. Feels bad. The Talus has a seven block a turn though, that's sexy. Another spot weakness? Damn. The game is lagging a little bit. You guys seen that? What's that all about? I would love to do disarm. I'm gonna save it. Eh, fuck it. Why does the game look laggy? Mmm. This is gonna hurt, boys. I went for double strength. I should have just done one strength. When spot weakness goes too far. Why did I do Dark Embrace? I had lethal. Oh my god. Again, I had lethal. Jeremy, you're hurting yourself. Damn it, dude. This hurts. Ay, ay, ay. Look how much extra damage I'm taking in this fight. Oh my god, I'm not focused, boys. I'm not focused. I am not focused right now. Do I take a Reaper to heal back up from all the crap I just took? Maybe. Oh no, wait, I didn't want to go this way. I wanted to go to the shop. Yikes. My bad, boys. My bad. Oh well. It was bad. Where's Immolate? Yeah. Yikers. So much damage I wasted, boys. I'm playing like a bonobo. It went downhill fast. <laughs> We're fine. We're fine. Don't worry. One second. One second. Somebody drink too much shaft water? Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of like having some brain parts. Did I skip the mask? Did I skip the mask? Fuck's sake. Oh no. Fuck. Family friendly, frick. 
I also wanted to go to the shop. What happened to this run? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh man, snake plant. I'm not happy to see you right now. Can you get your little butt out of here? Yo, take care, Dolsky. There's a correlation with me being a dumbo and people leaving. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But take care, man. Thanks for the touch your friends today, buddy. Appreciate the support. I'll get a big tourney to run. Oh, awesome, Nilski. Hey, good luck with that, dude. Battle Trans Super Ring. So, Super Ring Plus is nice, but Battle Trans is really sexy. Corruption Dark Embrace. Wait, isn't Corruption. Like, Corruption. Wait, wait, wait. We already have a Dark Embrace. You know what? Make it two. I actually wanted corruption. I wanted to try that. Um, the second dark embrace is it a good play? Probably not. And I didn't hit a shop. Okay, so we just gotta survive until we hit the shop in Act Three. Probably not gonna happen, but we'll see. Who I really want to do Reaper, but I should probably wait till I get. The spot weakness going. Am I gonna live long enough for the spot weakness? It's doubtful. It's doubtful, my friends. I'm not gonna live long enough for that. Dark embraces. <laughs> Just don't hit the damn. Wait a second, we're kicking ass, boys. Shit. Let me get that Reaper back. Let me get the Reaper back, come on. I could kill you, but I want to get Reaper back. Damn. Shit. Oh, we got feet. Wait, seeing red with dark embrace twice is card draw and energy. Hold up. So I'm gonna hold the phone. I think I want the feed, but let's talk about seeing red real quick. Maybe dark embrace is sleep sleeper OP. I never thought about this. It makes sense when you have Bum at hand, because it helps you. Yeah, if you're playing for free, then yes, it's damn good. You think you should buy a humidifier? Not too much. Not... You think you should buy a humidifier? Uh... I mean, that's up to you. If, if you feel like a humidifier would be something... Wait, my mouse just... If you think a humidifier would help you uh, with whatever you... I, I mean, yeah, it's up to you, man. Sometimes I think about getting a humidifier. You having sinus issues? Is that what you're talking about? Like, your air? The air the bre that you breathe? Having trouble with that? I thought about getting a neti pot, and I never got around to doing it. Okay. Reaper's been nice. Offering, yes. Damn, I have a lot of money. So if I can just survive, I would be very, very happy. One... It's still not good though, because we didn't get to spend our money. Yikes. Ooh, hell yes. Give me that money! 
Oh, get wrecked. Rampage in a small deck. You know, that could be our scaling. We were lacking scale. We have spot weakness for scaling. What am I talking about? Shrug it off. I'm not scared of you anymore, Avocado. I've moved on to bigger and better things in my life. That's the... I gotta get the door. One sec, boys. I am sorry, guys, for the long delay. I know some of you guys, the guys who've, who have left, they don't know that I'm back, but um, I um, was helping. I was helping my Instacarter with the groceries. Yes, I used Instacart for groceries. I know. I'm a millennial. What a millennial. Man, this deck is sexy, guys. Sexy, guys. This deck is sexy, guys. Now, if I do True Grip, we're going to run out of targets. The True Grip. We do have four strikes. You know, it's fine. The champ is a wimp, boys. He's a wimp. Who's scared of him? Not me. They bring it on a scooter. Yes, they bring it on a scooter, man. That's. I mean, that's. How, how else do you think I like the service? Of course, I gotta get the service because they bring it on a scooter. No, so Instacart is a service where you order your groceries and they bring it. But I like yours. I like your idea much better. Ooh, spot, spot. Yeah, yeah. Get rid of this. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hold on to the scene red because I want to get scene red as much value as possible by getting it on a turn in which I'm getting dark embrace along with it. I think we removed all the all the wounds right now. Perfect. Pelis, thank you. But anyways, guys. Uh, Thank you guys for hanging out and staying. Isaac has a toy. Isaac, go downstairs. We don't want that toy. Hey. Stop. 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 Isaac. Hey. Stop, hey, buddy. It's too loud, okay? It's too loud of a toy. And besides, you ate that toy and you had a problem in your stomach, remember? You had brown. You woke up this morning and you barfed, so don't have the toy, alright? Make sure you just have that toy, because that toy is... He barked twice now because of that toy. You're hoping the chair would win before I got back? <laughs> See, the chair looks good, but he doesn't play well. In fact, he doesn't play at all. He So he's actually a really good player, the chair. But he's very, like... I guess, coy. And he doesn't like to show off his, uh, his prowess. He never misplays. I'm trying to make the deck nice and small for a um, spot weakness to be available at all times, every time, all day, every day. Not like that though, that's not what I want to see. See, I could do some twin strike shenanigans, right? But I want to get more strength. More and more strength. I think I could do scene red because that could give me battle trains to find spot weakness, right? Nope. Wrong. Wrong, Jeremy. I, I don't want to do, do damage, though. I don't want to do damage. I want to get as much strength as possible. No damage. No damage. No damage. No damage. There's one. Give me the other one. There's two. Let's go. Okay, okay. We got more where that's coming from. I could have done battle trends because, it, it was, you know, we already got the stuff important stuff out of the way. That was my bad. Whoopsie, whoopsie. Whoopsie dootsie. I guess I could do a lot of damage now, huh? We're getting to the point where we're probably going to have lethal or relatively easy. And not to mention, since he buffed himself, I'm not going to be vulnerable for his execute. 
So that is some Pog Champ realization. We can get rid of this at this point. Okay, perfect. We get into spot uh sword boomerang and we got this easy, easy in the bag. Sword boomerang. Bam. Absolutely demolished the champ. It's too easy. I actually like so we have a few options here. We got the uh, Reaper, the Impervious, and the Berserk. Uh Berserk is a consideration because of this, Muff at hand. But being vulnerable and the extra energy, eh, it's whatever. I think the Reaper is kinda nice because we have the Exhaust mechanics with Strike Embrace. And we have a lot of strength in game with the spot weakness, so that can be a lot of healing, AoE, and exhaust mechanic, right? In purpose is similar where it's good block. Um and it works with Dark Embrace. And it's a nice big block, which is pretty useful for Don't Own Deck uh Time Eater. But Reaper it is, boys. It's cooler, it's spicier. I said I was gonna make a spicy deck. Tell me this is not spicy. We've got Double Dark Embrace, Double Reaper. It's kind of spicy. Here's the Butcher. Deck is real nice. Yeah. Chrissy, I wish people said that to me in another another way. If you just change the letter, and I hope that, you know... Sometimes I wish deck is nice with... You know, oh, okay, I'm being dirty. Family friendly, please. So we got Curse Key, Sozu, or Snickawai. Um, huh. I'm kind of thinking Sneko. Make it even more. Let's make it. Let's make it double spicy. Should we get Sneko? Why we're drawing seven cards a turn? Dark Embrace is probably going to be cheaper. Whatever. If it's not, we have modified hand. Nullify some of the costs, and then we do. Nine. Okay. Now let's just do. Let's do the key. If anything, the key can give us curses which we can use to exhaust. It's fine. I want to go hide behind my hands now. <laughs> that's what they that's usually what they do, Chrissy. So it's it's fine. I don't know, I'm being silly. Should be I guess out of embarrassment, I don't know. Okay, let's see. Did we use Battle Trance? We haven't done Battle Trance. Why did I do that? I thought we had Dragon Brace out. That's a lot of True Grits. Whoops, my bad. Snack was too spicy? It's a little too spicy, yeah. It's like... A little too... I don't want... See, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm taking damage, right? Oh, woe is me, woe is I, taking damage, ah ha ha, boo hoo hoo. Um, we're gonna make sure we scale up real nice. With spot weakness, right? And then we're gonna, um, Reaper. Back to full. Or, or near full. Oh, we got Doggy Cam again, boys. Doggy Cam, check it out. Cute boy. Wait, what? I just had doggy cam. Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, you can only see his butt. Damn. Uh, I could do Reaper or I could win the game. Ha. Huh. Damn. Choices. Choices. A lot of gold. Ooh, magic flower with the reaper. Oh, baby. What's the boss? Oh, that's spicy, huh? That's spicy. And we also can use the uh, smooth stone. We also have Dolly's mirror, which would be useful for... Another... Nah, I think... I think we do magic flower for sure. Now, I think I might save the rest for the second shop, or I could buy the smooth stone, which is nice as well. We can buy another Reaper. <laughs> no, no, no. There's another shop coming up. There is merit in removing, but we do have True Grits, whatever, and I'm not too worried about it. 
And there is this move stone, which is nice. But I also want to save. So I'm going to save. We'll save. See what happens. We also could uh, do... Um, Please hit the guys on the left. You gotta be shitting me. Wow. Of course, Super Boomerang would do that to me. Yeah. Isaac? I Isaac has to use the bathroom? Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll take him out. I'll take him out. I, I'm thinking about Inflame because it's nice to have more strength. And we have more fed hand, but I guess the awakened one is whatever. I'm just gonna shrug it off. Although inflame is nice to just kind of get a, a, a jump up before we have to wait for spot weakness. This fight is kind of a pain in the butt, actually. I'm not looking forward to this fight. All right, guys. So after this fight, I gotta take my dog out. So I know we just had to wait for me to do the groceries, but now we gotta go take the dog out. was that? What was that? So I just do this for the healing? Uh, I could get more healing, right? I feel like I gotta wait for a little bit more. He's doing 40 damage. I, I, I'm gonna wait. Mm. We have Magic Flower with Region Pod. That should buy us some time. I might do it now. No. I want to try to get more... Trying to get more value out of it with spot weakness, but spot weakness is a little slow, of course. Hmm. Okay. If we can get a Reaper now to heal up, that would be great. Because now we have a decent amount of strength. Of course, I can do Super Ring to end it now. But I'm, I'm being greedy. And I'm trying to get Reaper. So this is the greedy play. It's, but it's relatively safe because I, I think I have decent block. So it's relatively safe to do this. But like for instance, a play like this right now, I, uh, I'm taking more damage, I believe. Well, I'm not. I'm good. I'm still good. As long as I'm still good for defense, I should wait for Reaper. It's on turns like this where I guess I should end it, and now I'm feeling kind of, eh. Now here's the thing. If I take the hit now, which would be a decent hit, if I can heal back up for at least... The damage I'm taking now with Reaper, then maybe it's okay. You know what I mean? So Reaper will heal up for like 22, which is amount that, amount, around the damage I'm going to take. But I had Magic Flower, so it's healing up for even more. So I would say it's worth it. And I didn't get it. Oh my god. Oh my god. You gotta be shitting me. Okay, but with Magic Flower, we're getting more out of the healing, and let's hope we get lethal here. Not bad, 32 heal. I like it. That's worth. I like it, I like it. Inflame Plus, I'll take it. I mean, they're offering that. I also think that maybe, like... Whoa. Okay, so I really, really, really like the hand drill, because that's really good against Dono Deca, and to get that vulnerable... I think it's really good. But there's also the option to remove or ghostly armor. I think I'm gonna do hand drill. And I'm gonna be right back, boys. My dog has to use the bathroom. I apologize, but I have a good video for you guys to watch. In the meantime, I uploaded it today. Some of you guys may have seen it. Some of you guys have not. Real quick, what do I upgrade? I'm thinking battle trance. I'm thinking... 
Maybe Dark Embrace. Alright, I'll be right back, boys. It's a good video, don't worry. Alright, so where were we? Where were we? I feel like we've had a lot of breaks in the last couple. <laughs> this run has been a lot of breaks. We just upgraded Dark Embrace. I, I figured I upgraded Dark Embrace because it becomes cheaper once I use it first from moment of hand. Although, on second thought, maybe Battle Trance was a better upgrade or offering. Either way, we have time to upgrade those. We're about to fight an elite. Let's go. What's up, Extreme Links? How you doing? <clears throat> so let's draw first. We have a lot of energy. Alright, so we've got Shockwave. Emulate is totally fine. Beautiful. Now, you can also argue that maybe it's better to True Grit as often as possible to make the deck smaller. I don't disagree with that either. Taking some damage, which is not bad for Centennial Puzzle. We got Metallicize, we got Dark Embrace. We got our defense. We got our spot weakness. I uh, want the spot weakness. But I also don't want to take damage. Actually, I don't mind taking damage because we have Reaper, right? So taking two damage is not a big deal. In the grand scheme of things, because we can heal it up. And we need to get that scaling as well. Alright, so we got Shrug. Draw. Isn't it cool that scene red is card draw? It's pretty cool. And these burns are not cool though. These burns are not cool. Damn. That's one Reaper down the drain. Wow. That's a lot of damage. Wow. Okay. We need a big Reaper, otherwise that's painful. Jesus Christ. Of course, Shrug it up. It's probably because it doesn't come in the right turn. I think I might do Reaper now just because... I can't really afford... Damn. It's a lot of burns coming up. I wish it wasn't so, but it is. Okay. So we just gotta defend this, and we should have lethal sword boomerang. Whew. Okay, not too bad. We're full life. Who cares? Thunderclap? Thunderclap is nice, because Thunderclap does give us the vulnerable to get rid of the artifacts for the Dono and Deca. We also have Handrail for that same purpose. Right? My whole goal is to just get make sure they're both vulnerable, so the Reapers are really juicy. So I'm gonna take it. Because I want really big, ju big juicy reap Reapers. Alright, here we got pretty big, juicy fight. Um, I have a lot of energy that is not being utilized. Hit the guy in the middle. Ooh, he's sexy. Okay. Maybe I don't mind days that much. No, I, I do mind the days. Hmm. I don't know if that was a good use of that, though. I need spot weakness, otherwise this does hurt a little bit. So I'm much sugar as much as often as I can. Shockwave. Inflame. And I'll get rid of the, the clothesline, I guess. Was it worth doing that? Probably not. Ah, it's fine. I won't take two damage. Spot weakness. Ow. Okay, so we're gonna need a big reaper here. So the reaper right here finishes the game. And gives me a decent amount of healing. So I want to make sure I can block the 11 hit. So I'm actually going to do this to block the 11. And then I'm going to do this as well to get even more damage. And I should heal up to full. Easy. Tori, very nice. Twin Strike again. I mean, we already have one Twin Strike. I don't think we need another one. I think I want to make the deck smaller and smaller. So we get rid of the strikes. Get rid of some of the curses we're about to get. Maybe the birds from the Immolate. And then, ideally, we want to play Sword Moon Ring Twin Strike as often as possible, and just be doing spot weeks as often as possible. I want to keep the deck smaller, actually. I'm going to take this Shuriken, okay. Two Elites. 
Mm, could be could be bad. I think the dark the giant head could be bad. Um is Reaper worth here? It's fine. You're doing, currently doing the five arrow. You're gonna like it, man. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. I can't guarantee that you're gonna like it, but I, I feel like if you like card games and stuff, there's a, there's a decent chance. The gift that keeps on giving. The gift that keeps on giving. Alright, so now we do Reaper again. Not bad, boys. Not bad. Let's go. Let's go. Look at chat's really distracted. Well, to be fair, I was kind of like having to do a lot of stuff, so chat could be distracted. Uppercut for the weakened and the vulnerable. I don't mind it. Double tap for the inevitable Reaper, maybe. If it's possible to get double tap consistently on the Reaper or like Sir Boomerang. I think it's pretty good. There's a lot of healing. And double tap could be good for Shuriken, which is eh, not that useful. I think uppercut just because we get that more. I think uppercut's nice. Oh, only one per turn. There are some times where you can get a card that may put it into your battlefield tapped or put it into the battlefield. So there's certain cards that can do that, but you can only play one from one per turn from your hands. Aside from cards that I do that. <clears throat> Again, I want to keep the deck smaller, right? But uppercut is not bad. Is it necessary? Same question for double tap. Double tap could be good. But when is there going to be a turn where I need double reaper? I don't know. I don't feel like there is. <laughs> I know I need to make it smaller. There's already 36 cards. A lot of it's mixed. Like, two is pretty common, and a splash of third is it's okay, but that's when it starts getting like kind of tricky. It's not recommended because there's it's you know it's easy to have a moment where you're not getting the right color. So I would say one to two colors is pretty common, and there are third common is not uncommon, but I would say that's more advanced and usually it's for specific things. Oh shit, we got a Twitch tier 1 sub from Elgren, let's go! Oh, what good to the germ pool, Elgren. Appreciate the subscription. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tier 1. Okay, so let's... Eh, uh, I don't know. I don't know here. Yes, yeah, Sakara, we will. We were. Hey, welcome, man. Long time no see. Skip. Double Elite, like I said, the giant head could be problematic, right? Because spot weaknesses are a big thing. Yeah, I'm gonna be a pansy about it. Oh, come on. See, I have all this... I have all this energy that I'm not being able to utilize. That's awkward. I might die to this guy, actually. Because since fight weakness is like my, my main thing, it's so... Hmm. Ah, oh, this is a good turn. This is a good turn. I like this turn a lot. I like this turn a lot. My God, do I like that turn. Oh, my boy. What a turn. Give me more of those. I mean, I don't need more of those. At this point, I'm just popping off. I'm just, I, I kind of look for true grit though, to get rid of the injury. There we go. So strikes are officially roll. Now we're gonna do Reaper because we wanna get that juicy healing. Full life, let's go. 
And we're getting shuriken, which is not bad. And spot weakness again. Start boomerang GG. Wow, wow, wow. Popping off. Alright, I probably should have done double elite. I don't know. I think my deck's pretty good. And I was a little worried. We'll see. Well, that's a good turn. Oh, so spot weakness is a little awkward. On this turn. Unfortunately. I should have definitely uh, done all the defense and I should have done Super Ring last. I forgot about the whole slow mechanic. My bad. Oh my god. Spot weakness again. Come on. Getting back to 10. Uh, this is kind of awkward though, because all our scaling we got early, and now he's starting to ramp up, and I don't have a way to exhaust to get draw, so it's getting awkward. And I don't know. Reaper could save us, so I'm not worried about that. But like these last couple turns are really bad. So Reaper definitely has to save our booty. Yo, Sakai with the Twitch Prime, welcome, dude. And Fano CC, welcome. How you doing, dude? Good to see you. Good to see you. Finally, we can get rid of these wounds and stuff. I really need spot weakness. Alright, so we can take a little bit of a beating because we have a Reaper, but I mean, it's hurting. Alright, a little bit of healing. I'm going to do spot weakness again. So we have another Reaper in the deck, so... Yes, that hurts, and now he's no longer vulnerable, but... Right, let's see what we're trying to. Maybe we can get... So spot weakness into, like, Super Boomerang is doing a lot of damage, right? It's 26 healing. If only I can guarantee that's lethal. I don't think it is. It's... A lot of damage, but it's not lethal, which is pretty shitty because I'm taking all that damage to the face. And I had no more Reapers. But at this point, we're just happy if we're winning, I guess. As close to killing, huh? 37 plus... That's very close. Is it enough? I don't know if the slow is going to be enough. So that's 37, and then it's going to be like... Probably like 34 times 2. Which is 68. It's not enough. He's getting there, though. Oh, my God. All right. All right, maybe I should have saved Reaper for the last. That was my bad. Triggered again. Whirlwind to dump the strength, because we have a lot of turns where we have a lot of energy and not utilizing it. So maybe I don't mind the Whirlwind. Let's rest, rest, rest. Although Exum wasn't, wasn't bad either. Inflame. Dark Embrace. Thunderclap. Immolate. Clothesline. Sword Boomerang. Actually, I should keep this guy alive a little bit because I want to get some healing. Who needs to rest when I can heal off the fights? What am I doing? I can heal off these fights. Why'd I do that? Alright. I have two Reapers, so I could do this. And then we'll get the second Reaper. Well, that's good enough to... I'm, I'm full life, I'm fine. Okay. So let's another metallicize. So it's bad if I'm going against the Awaken one. So I should be careful for that, right? I think the Burning Pact is not bad because we have so much energy that we're not utilizing that I think we need some card draw. 
And I'm gonna upgrade the spot weakness. Alright. Let's hope for the best. We have Handrail for this fight. Got our spot weakness. And an emulate. So we're gonna take some hits, but it's all good. We have the um the Reapers. Keepers, creepers, reapers. I'm probably gonna hold on to reapers as late as possible. Do wanna get rid of the artifacts, but Handrel will take care of that. So let's just do this. I'll try to use Handrel to the best of our ability. Ah, uh, this is an awkward turn. I think it's better to trigger it here just to get the card draw, but I like getting them vulnerable Or getting them close to vulnerable right so that I can get the big Reaper. So right now we're in like, okay, this hurts, this hurts, this hurts It's got to stay alive for Reaper and then we'll come right back into it There's one Reaper uh, Shockwave is a good Good start into Reaper. Hell yes Same with the Thunderclap to butter them up, butter up the shields, and then we do the Reaper. Boom. Full life. I'll do this. Disarm. Just make this easier for myself. Burning pack to get rid of the wounds. True grit to make the deck smaller. Or we can do this. Make the deck smaller. And we'll also save our life, of course. So I'm going to save the second Reaper for another time. Spot weakness, hell yes. Draw for another spot weakness, yes. And now we're getting some good, good, good damage. Start applying it. So, Whirlwind at this point is going to be Pogchamp. Whirlwind at this point is... <laughs> it's like 38 times 5. It's not bad. We make it even stronger. Let's make it. Let's do this. I'll still. Well, I have Reaper for this guy, so we'll do this. Take the hit. We'll Reaper the second part. Full life. Who's next? Please don't be Awaken One. Awaken One would actually be kind of bad. I have a lot of powers. Ah, oh, fuck me. All right. Ah, oh, fuck me. Is it going to matter? I think it will, but... We'll hope for the best. <laughs> we'll hope for the best. Uh, let's be pretty bad. Oof. Any Reaper to save us for a little bit and then So disarm is fantastic. This is, see this is where Exum would be good. Exum would be good for this fight, for the disarm. Metallus oh they're, they're ah, that actually hurts so bad offering you two sh oof. Oh, that hurts so bad, actually. Damn, these curses. I, uh...
think I'm gonna reap it once. Alright, full life. Think about this whirlwind here, straight up. It's a lot of damage, but let's try to maybe upgrade it. We'll get rid of the strikes. Okay, we could probably do this. The Reaper is really so clutch. I can get rid of the Metallicize, fortunately. Twenty-one strength. I think we got this. I think we got this actually. I, I want to kill him now so I can play Dark Embrace. I think we got this. Oh, I think we got this. It's a lot of damage. Oh shit, that's also a lot of damage, but that's, that's a full heal. I think I'd rather do this and try to get the Reaper, but the Reaper is right here, so I shouldn't have drawn at all, maybe. And just next turn do Reaper. Is it better to block here? I mean, we're getting so close to lethal. I feel like a couple strikes and he's dead, so let's do that. Yikes. Oh, it's lethal. GG. Woo! We did it. Nice. I actually like that deck a lot, guys. I like that. It was a double Dark Embrace, double Spot Weakness, double Reaper, Magic Flower, Mummified Hand, five Energy Deck. Crazy. Liked it. Cool.